Wow, Errol Spence and his team making big moves. What is good, boxing fans, critics, boxing analysts, boxing community? We are family. Thank you so much, man, for tuning in. Renee Box Young with you. Um, thank you for the subscribers, man, everybody. I always take time to thank each and every one of you. You know what I mean? Everybody who's been tuning into the lives, those who have been commenting, those who have been sharing, man, I really appreciate each and every one of you. It's all for the love of the sport of boxing. It's all for the love of you, the community. You know what I mean? I thank you so much for chopping it up with me, you know, tuning in, liking, subscribing. If there are any new listeners and people who are tuning in, uh, go ahead and subscribe. Go ahead and feel free to subscribe. You know, hit the like. You know what I'm saying? Share it. Bell icon, etc., etc. You know what it is, man. I really appreciate you. Help everybody safe. Hope everyone's doing well, man. I want to get into this. Um, you know, Errol Spence and his team, man, making big moves, man. Wow, interesting stuff. And I want to show you guys something. You know, this is an article. You can check it out. You know, Boxing Scene. Um, you already know the information, right? Boxingscene.com, uh, et cetera, et cetera. Um, you know, link in the description, right? Um, we're going to check this out, man. It says here that, you know, Errol Spence will attempt to fight, all right? Um, three fights next year? Three fights next year? That's that's some intense stuff right there, isn't it? Um, so you have here... You know, um, let me just show you real fast. Let's read it. I want to kind of read it here. Um, I don't know if you'll see it kind of small there, but um, I'm just going to read it, all right? Um, it says, it says this past Saturday, you know, it talks about the successful defense, you know, that he had uh, amazing, um, you know, fight performance that he gave against Danny Darcy, you know, Spence Jr. Um, good stuff right here. And then um, I want to say something real fast, man. I, before we, get in, we even get into this, all right? Actually, I mean, before we get it, we've got to definitely, you know, round of applause. To Derek James, his coach. Man, you know, many times we tend to forget or, you know, ignore or just, uh, yeah, ignore or whatever, right? The, the coaches of these great fighters. Man, we really, <laughs> Derek James is an amazing coach. You know, I really like how he gives, uh, you know, uh, tips and, you know, trained, you know, counsels his fighters between rounds. He's very, you know, calm. He, he's very smart and intelligent. Man, Derek James is taking his fighters, you know, to the next level, man, you know, and uh, definitely we got to give our hats off to Derek James, man, the Spence team, Derek James, if I'm not mistaken, also trains Jermel Charlo, you know what I'm saying, so, you know, <laughs> hats off to Derek James, man, great guy, you know, very intelligent, you know, just how, the way he talks, you know, he's very mature, very smart, and, uh, you know, you see him between rounds when, you know, in, in, in the fights, you know, Spurl, you know, Spence fights, and um, he knows how to guide his fighters, man, and... And this article that we're going to see right now, this is what, you know, Spence was talking about, like, um, he wasn't taking, he wasn't taking his coach's advice, you know what I'm saying? And uh, when he fought Spence, you know, and, uh, you know, I'm sure you guys knew that. And the quote, this is a quote from Merrill Spence right here. They told me to use my jabs and my boxing skills against Sean, but I made the hype uh -huh, get to me, exactly, and went toe-to-toe -to -toe with, with him most of the way when he's talking about the Porter fight. I ended up with a split decision, and on reflection, I see where I could have thrown that fight away. Very true. Saturday, I listened to them and won comfortably, said Spence to Gleaner. So, you know, he, he listens to his team, listens to his coach. Great stuff, you know, uh, regarding the Danny Garcia fight. Great win, you know what I mean? And, uh, you know, it says he felt great and stuff like that, you know. But the thing here that caught my attention, too, is that it says here that, you know, Spence... Spence, uh, Spence's father, Earl Spence Sr., told the paper, right? I think it's boxingmagazine.com, whatever, right? Um, uh, he wants to see his son fight three times in 2021. We would like to have about three fights next year. We, so we is talking about the team. You see what I'm saying, ladies and gentlemen? You see what I'm saying? So it's not just his father saying it. It's him and his team. You know what I'm saying? So I'm sure that Spence wants this. And I'm sure you know, it's coming from the team. He said we. So, you know, um... Man, if this is true, if this is going to really happen, I mean, <laughs> the thing here, guys, we got to definitely respect, you know, uh, Errol Spence and what he's doing, man. We definitely got to acknowledge him and his team and what he's doing. He's making big moves. Um, whether you're a Spence fan or whether you're a Bud fan or you know, more like whether you're a Bud fan or not really a big Spence fan, you got to – you we, we have to box the community. We have to definitely give notice this and acknowledge this, what Spence is doing. You know, he's going out there. I mean, just, just for the fact that he came back from the car crash, right? Uh, you know, first fight, you know, first fight from this, you know, incident that happened. Uh, thankfully, he came out alive. Actually, I made a video some time ago, like a day after that, you know, it happened. It was obviously viral. 
uh, everybody, you know, as far as the incident, I mean, you know, the incident that happened to, you know, uh, Earl Spence, you know, went viral, man, what happened to him and uh, the boxing community was just, you know, really, you know, concerned about it, you know, and I and I remember making a video the next day that, you know, this is an act of God, man, whether you believe or not, I don't know, but um, that he came out how he came out, you know what I'm saying? And despite that, what did he do? He came back and fought Danny Garcia. First fight, most fighters... We got to be realistic about this, ladies and gentlemen. Let's be realistic. Most fighters, they would say, nah, you know, I got I to I gotta see how I am. I, you know, I got that ring rust, so I need to, you know, tune-up fight. Tune-up fight. Most fighters would do that, ladies and gentlemen. We got to understand this. We got to understand, you know, and this is part of Errol Spence making big moves in his team. You know, he's about it, man. I mean, they don't mess around in Texas. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? These boys, <laughs> these boys from Texas, man, you know. <laughs> I mean, wow. <laughs> you know, I, 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 Spence really made a statement in the boxing community. Whoever, whoever, this is what I'm trying to say here. Whoever is trying to minimize what Spence has done, in his trajectory, generally speaking, and more recently with this fight against Danny Garcia and the context of, of, of his life, you know, coming out from this car crash, you know, coming back in the gym, training, preparing for months and months before the Danny Garcia fight, training for months and months and months. You know what I'm saying? And him coming back to fight Danny, it's just like, and, and, and his performance, man, whether you like Spence or not, or whatever the case may be, we definitely have to respect and acknowledge Spence and his team, his coach. They're making big moves, big moves. His father comes out, you know, respect to his pops, you know what I'm saying? Definitely all day, blessings to his family. Um, saying that they, he said, we, you saw the article, we want, you know, let me get back to it just so you can see it. Okay, let me let me scroll down. I just want to, you know, just to reiterate this. We, you guys can see right there. We would like to have about three fights next year. So he said we. So he's talking about, you know, him and his team, his son, his, the team, everyone there. So it's not just his pop saying it. You know what I'm saying? It's not just his, his father saying it. It's we, all them, plural. You see what I'm saying? So we definitely got to respect this and i am very oh my gosh i am anticip i am in anticipation people on spence's level champions at spence's level do they fight three times a year i mean i know this is not like we don't know yet you know what i'm saying that's their desire you guys already know the business the politics and stuff like that sometimes it prevents or prolongs you know plans uh you know there there are obstacles when it comes to the business side of boxing we already know that so, I mean, I'm not, I'm not, I am excited though about it, but you know, I'm not like saying it's going to happen. Who am I to say that? I'm just another fan, you know what I'm saying? But, but the way they speak, they're saying it, hopefully it does. And I'm excited about this because Spence, you know, he's not the type of guy to say something and just, you know, beat about the, beat about the bush, beat around the bush. You know, he, 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 how, how, I love it when he says, line them up, line them up. I mean, if I'm not mistaken, the other day he just posted on Twitter. Uh, what he talked, to, he 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 directed a twi a tweet a tweet, you know, towards um, Pacquiao and Bud. So your chance is coming. Your chance is coming. Line them up. You know, if I'm not mistaken, another tweet he said, "Line them up, line them up." He's back, man. Come on, man. So that's what I'm saying. You guys, whatever. That's what I don't like. You know, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't take sides. I I ride in my own lane. I'm I'm driving in my own lane. You know what I'm saying? And when it comes to the sport of boxing, I don't I don't take sides. I'm not I'm not I just speak facts and I see what it is, you know what I'm saying? And I respect fighters, take my hats off to fighters who really, you know, they, they who who you know, honor to whom honors do, man. You know what I'm saying? And Spence and his team definitely deserve deserve the honor and respect and acknowledgement. You know, I, I don't I don't buy that whole, you know, oh, you know, bud, he's perfect or, or whoever, whoever fighter, whatever fighter, no one's perfect, you know what I'm saying? And you know, for me, for example, if I were a Bud fan, I wouldn't, I wouldn't sit back and say, "Oh, Spence, you know, you, you." I mean, come on, man, just put that nonsense to the side. We gotta acknowledge what Spence is doing. He's making big moves, big moves in the welterweight division in his career. You know what I'm saying? And who, which fighter, which fighter is fighting three times? I know, like I said, it's probably we don't know what's gonna happen. So hopefully, but that's their objective. Which champion out there? You know, in a division is fighting who or is saying that, that they want to fight three times a year. Maybe Canelo. Um, and there are, I'm sure there's some names out there. But my point is, is that there aren't many. There aren't many. You know, I understand Canelo didn't fight 
at all in 2020 because you know the situations and stuff like that i understand you know what i'm saying or i don't even think he fought in 2020 i don't whatever i think it was last year when he fought Kovalev or something but um you know i understand that situation but you know generally speaking which fighter at on the top like spence is right now man he's been you know on the top for a while you know amazing champ who, who says that who says that they're they want to fight three times a year you know you usually see that with prospects you usually see that with up and comers you know, and Spence is like, you know, I, I think that, you know, this just this just consolidates and reinforces the theory, I guess we can call it, that, you know, well, it's not really a theory because Spence himself said it, you know what I'm saying? So that that Spence, after this car crash, he, he was, you know, he was he was woken up. His eyes were open, man, you know, to reality and to to the seriousness of, of his life and of his career and obviously other aspects in his personal life, his family, his kids, bless his family, you know what I'm saying? And his personal life, you know, and this shows this shows that he's really about it now. Like he he's taking his career more seriously. He's really taking it for a champ in his level at his level to say he wants to fight three times a year and his team that they want to fight three times a next year. Who's doing that really, guys? I don't, I don't see many people doing that. Okay, I'm sure you guys can throw some names out there that are doing it, but but you got to remember champs who have two belts at least fighting three times a year. I don't I don't see that often these days. I'm talking about this generation now, 2020, these days, this generation. You see what I'm saying? You don't really see too much of that. You know what I'm saying? Maybe back in the day, of course you did. Not, 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 not much. Because usually champs at the championship level that Spence is at, you know what I'm saying? They what? They fight like twice a year, maybe once a year, something like that. Twice a year maximum. So, you know, Spence, he's taking things seriously, man. So, I'm really anticipating who his next opponents are going to be, man. <laughs> <laughs> you know wow wow you know so so we'll see um we got to understand also remember ladies and gentlemen please remember that when bud when bud crawford was um when he was doing his twitter temper tantrum thing okay back in 2019 at the end of 2019 if i'm not mistaken i think it was at the end of 2019 or 2018 i don't remember man but it was when, yeah, I think it was 2019, okay? He was, uh, you know, on Twitter, his sister, Bernie, when they just started going wild. And then when, you know, Bud was just cussing people out on Twitter and, you know, F this, F in this, and you bleeping, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> when Bud just came out of nowhere, you know, and, and I've been, been saying it time and time again, because he's frustrated. The whole situation he's in, you know, and uh, we it's been coming out to light, the situation. You already know it. I don't have to explain it again. But... And then, and then checks out, ladies and gentlemen. A lot of people re don't remember this or, or don't, aren't talking about it recently. Okay, so, so, and then what happened? Bud and Spence finally talked over the phone. Remember this, guys. They talked over the phone, and all of a sudden, out of nowhere, Bud says, all of a sudden, uh, and, and Twitter, whatever. Oh, you know, Spence is a cool guy. Yeah, you know, we're, Spence is a cool guy, you know. So just out of, <laughs> totally flips the script, 180 degrees. It's all good, whatever. But why do I say this? Because, yeah, uh, this kind of makes me convinced even more that they're going to fight. Who knows if it's going to be in 2021? I doubt it. But I'm just saying this because, man, I'm really anticipating who is Spence going to fight in 2021. I'm sure it's going to be Pacquiao. Maybe another, you know, another fighter, maybe under par, uh, not not the tops, which I definitely understand. I'm not going to knock Spence for any of that. If he, if Spence, ladies and gentlemen, please listen. If, if Spence fights somebody who, you know, next year who is not maybe the top competition, we got to respect that. You know, three fights in a year? Let them fight a warm-up. Who cares? It's all good. Let them. And then I'm sure it's going to be Pacquiao. It's going to be another one. Is Bud going to be another one? I don't think so. But it might be somebody else. It's all good, man. Let them fight. But my 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 emphasis is three times next year, man. That's what, they, that's what they're shooting for. Who's doing that? They're making big moves, family. They're making big moves. Spence and his team, man. Th them boys from Texas don't play. Them boys from Texas don't play. <laughs> man, I love them. I love these guys. You know, so it is what it is, man. We're Nate Boxing. Thanks so much. Go ahead and like and subscribe, man. If there are any new listeners, I repeat, go ahead and subscribe. Thanks so much for showing your love, guys. You guys are awesome, ladies and gentlemen. You guys are awesome. And, um, you know, I'm going to keep, you already know, I'm going to keep pushing the content. And um, hats off to, to Spence, his coach. And his team. You know what I'm saying? So we'll see, man. 2021, I'm highly anticipating. I'm enjoying the ride. You know what I mean? I, like I said, I've been enjoying the ride ever since boxing has been back. I've been enjoying the ride. And I've been saying it time and time again. Even though when boxing returned from the quarantine and um, they weren't the best matchups that we desired, 
But I, I, I've been saying it since the beginning. I've been saying it since we, we, we returned from the quarantine. I said, you know what? I got my hopes high for, for the sport of boxing. I think they're going to be they're going to be better fights. You're going to see. You know, I've been saying it. I've said it. Go back. I don't even remember which lives it was, which show. Uh, but it's in my record. It's in my rece- I got the receipts. It's in my channel. OK, you go back around March. I don't remember. I don't even remember when the return from the quarantine, but whatever. Right. Um, but I've been really optimistic about it and look at all these fights we've been getting out of nowhere boom boom announcements left and right man so you know it is what it is man i'm enjoying the ride let's enjoy the ride ladies and gentlemen you know of course there's some fights that we desire that haven't happened and like i said i repeat i don't think bud and spence will happen until at least 2022 but we'll see right we'll see but my focus on this video is that man spence their team want to fight three times next year man i can't wait so yeah, thank you so much again, Renee Box Young, man. Stay safe out there, man. And go ahead and share this. Keep showing the support. I appreciate each and every one of you. Thanks out. Thanks. Thanks, guys. Peace out.